God is good. And today, guys, I want to talk about the Final Fantasy XI reboot or remake of Final Fantasy XI that we know is in development, but we don't know a whole lot of details. But we know a little bit, enough to talk about. And that's what I want to do today. Let's talk about what we know, maybe a little bit of theorying around, and see what we come up with. If you're new to the Nathan Napalm channel, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in old school MMORPGs, Pantheon Rides of the Fall, and especially because that's what we do here as well as JRPGs, CRPGs, all that kind of thing. And special shout out to the members of Napalm for supporting this channel. If you are interested in becoming a member, please click the join button down below to see all of the options. So here's what we know about the Final Fantasy XI reboot or remake. So originally, by the way, they were planning for this game to come out in 2016, but as you maybe are aware, it's still not out and it's 2020 at the time it's recording. So let's talk a little bit about the history. So back in 2015 in March, Square Enix did mention and announce that they were making Hold Your Bridges Tight, a mobile remake of Final Fantasy XI at a press conference. Now, bear with me on the mobile thing, okay? Bear with me as I go further. On April 27th of 2016, Nexon, I know you want to click X, I get it. I just mentioned mobile and I mentioned Nexon. Please bear with me. Nexon it unveiled the first screenshots of the mobile game, which they call Final Fantasy XI Reboot, at a developer conference. And it looks like, from the pictures, it's a redesign designed Windurst and Sarah de Baruda. It was revealed that this game is going to run on the Unreal Engine 4. Now, that was the last time it was officially mentioned per se. However, Nexon has continued to hire people for the development of the game on their careers portal, so it's still in development. And in 2017, they did say that the game is still under development and that they were working on the battle system. And then, most recently that I could find, in 2019 in March, they mentioned that the game is still under development at that time as well, and that they had been partnering with Square Enix, of course, for this for the making of this game, and they did say the title of the game at this time is Final Fantasy XI R. So that is basically the history of Final Fantasy XI Reboot. That's what we know. It's how I know that it's in development at least. Now let's talk about the problems here. It's a mobile game and Nexon, okay? I have two very big elephants in the Final Fantasy XI reboot room. So first of all, let's talk about the mobile thing. Yeah, that sucks, right? What I'm hoping for is a few things. Number one, I would be very happy if they just said, well, we were going to make it a mobile game, but, you know, it's a little complicated. Um, there's going to be certain things you can do in the game for mobile. It's not the full game. Maybe you can craft or decorate your house or something and, and have a little bit of some sort of interaction, maybe an, uh, uh, play with the auction house or something like that, uh, but the game is a PC release. So that's what I'm hoping for. I think that would be excellent, especially because Final Fantasy XIV is doing really well and a ton of people from that game actually came from Final Fantasy XI and most uh, most people agree that Final Fantasy XI is the better MMO. It's just outdated these days. Now next on... Alright, so the thing is, is I'm not a big fan of Nexon. They haven't really done anything that I really cared about. These are the people that made Maple Story. I think, as far as I'm aware, is their biggest title as far as success goes. But you know what? They have some experience making MMOs. They're rebooting or remaking a game. So as long as they keep the systems intact, they should be able to pull it off. Plus, Square Enix is involved. And you know, Square Enix, you can like them, you can love them, you can hate them. But they do know how to make a game, right? Um, they've had some I'll admit, but I think people are a little bit too harsh on them compared to how they judge other companies and their games. For example, Final Fantasy XV, a lot of people think was a huge failure. I have to disagree, dude. Especially after all the updates and what you play, what you get now. I think Final Fantasy XV is pretty freaking cool. I think Final Fantasy XIV may not be the RPG or the MMO for me, but it's a good MMO. It's pretty good for that style of MMO, and they've tried to do some really cool stuff in that game and I do have quite a bit of respect for that game and I played it for many 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 years and I had a lot of fun so I'm not gonna really sit here and bash Square Enix I like them actually I'm kind of a fan but next on I'm more worried about, right? It's okay, though. It's a reboot. It's a remake. They're not designing a game from scratch. They're literally should be taking Final Fantasy XI and just kind of making it a little bit more quality of life as far as the UI goes 
And, you know, I would love to play a game like Final Fantasy XI with, I mean, even if they left the, the kind of the kind of methodical strategic combat, I'm a big fan of that, as you probably know if you watch a lot of these videos on my channel. That's what I like. So they were able to keep that, but instead of the menu base, which I like the menu base of Final Fantasy XI, it's just not something you probably want to release in 2020, 2021 or so, but give it a more, uh, just a better, you know, Give me some easier to configure macros and, you know, hot bars a little bit. But you can keep the pace of the combat, I think, is fine. And when I say quarter life, I don't mean, like, make it like World of Warcraft. I mean just, you know, come on, let's be serious here. Final Fantasy XI is outdated. And I love that game. Love it to death. Not talking horrible about it. But you can't just go play Final Fantasy XI on the live servers and get anywhere near the kind of cool experience you used to be able to get because the game has essentially changed. It's not the same game anymore. You don't even need a group anymore, right? You can just have your, whatever they're called in that game, your mercenaries or what have you. They're called trusts in that game, actually. You can get those. You can just go out and do whatever you want all the way to end game. No, to get to end game, you need people, right? Uh, for the most part, for the, the actual good stuff. But that's just not the same game, right? So if they can reboot this game, give it a classic kind of feel with some good graphics and not be just a mobile game. I don't know if you guys know this. I absolutely hate mobile games. I can't stand them, man. There's nothing about a mobile game I can enjoy. There's only actually one mobile game I ever actually played for a good amount of time <laughs> and that was Pokemon Go. And for some reason, when that game was new, I thought it was pretty cool. It was something I could do when I was out and about, do another business. I could catch a couple Pokemon or whatever. And I thought it was pretty cool. That's it, that's it though. And that got old for me, too. I, I just hate mobile games, man. It's just not the same. There's no controller. There's no freaking controller or anything to actually control my character. I don't like touch screen. I don't like it. You'll never make me like it. I hate it. I like tactical, feeling buttons pressed, something. I need that. And when I'm playing in the MMO, the last thing I want is a bunch of crap that I have to, like, tap. That's, first of all, I know I'm probably talking boomer speak here, but I don't want to do that. I, I, I have my screen. I have to hold it, right? I'm going to be bumping stuff I don't want to because I'm holding a screen that anything I touch on it is going to actually cause something to happen. I hate it. I cannot stand it. It's the worst thing to ever happen to gaming ever, in my opinion. But anyway, if they make this game to where it's available for PC, where I can play this game on PC and give me a PC user interface, do not give me the mobile user interface that looks exactly like you ported it straight from mobile to PC. Make a PC game, and then if you have to have it on stupid mobile, then fine, but port it from the PC and make it just suck, or whatever you want to do, right? But make a PC game. Do not reboot, and call it a reboot, a Final Fantasy XI, and it's actually a crappier version of the original game. That's not a reboot, that's a demake, okay? Don't demake Final Fantasy XI. Final Fantasy XI has a very special place in my heart. Love that game. Had so many, I mean, just thousands of hours of entertainment. Met so many good people. Had so many good adventures. It is, it was at least, a very, very unique and awesome take on the EverQuest formula. And I swear, if they take this, if they take this beloved game of mine and they make it simply a mobile game where you have to purchase crystals in order to continue your journey or all this stupid mobile bullcrap, I, I swear I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to literally, let's just hope I never have to make that video, okay? Let's just hope for the sake of everyone who likes to consume my content that we don't ever have to see that. So I'm begging you, Nexon. I'm begging you, Square Enix, if you're going to make a Final Fantasy XI reboot, do it right or leave it alone. Just walk away. Do not release a piece of crap, mobile, MMO garbage, disgusting stain upon the earth of an MMO piece of crap mobile game. Please, don't do it, don't do it. I have a couple reasons I would like to explain to you why I don't think they would. Square Enix released Final Fantasy XIV Original 1.0. It was just called Final Fantasy XIV Online. This is before Realm Reborn, and it was horrible. I actually kind of liked it, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was okay. It wasn't like a great MMO, but I, I, I thought it was okay. But anyway, it, it released 
to some horrible reviews, and it did have a lot of major problems, right? It was hard to run, all kinds of issues, and they learned from it. They said, we cannot have a our, our brand name a Final Fantasy completely destroyed by this game. It's one thing to release a, a Final Fantasy game, and maybe the fans wanted something different and you didn't deliver what the fans or the core audience wanted. It's another thing to actually release a game that is garbage, okay? Especially one as beloved and old school and cherished as Final Fantasy, right? It's kind of like if you took a Mario game, they released a new one, and it was just horrible. It was just garbage crap, right? You can't do that. So they did fix it, and they just would not allow it to be that way. And I think that's probably the reason for the delay, I think that's probably the reason for Nexon making comments in the past about Square Enix was a little hard to work with and these kind of things is because they're not going to let that happen again. And Final Fantasy XI actually, last time I checked, which wasn't long ago, is still their number one moneymaker. In other words, the money they made off of Final Fantasy XI from the time of its release to now is more than any other Final Fantasy game of all time. And it was a sub-based game. It wasn't like money transactions. This is from subs. So honest and earned income in my opinion. I don't think they're going to ruin it. I think that Final Fantasy XI actually holds a very special place in the hearts of Square Enix. This is a Japanese company. They have very, very different values than American companies tend to have. And I actually do believe that if they're going to do this, if it happens, if it makes it all the way to release, even if it is garbage, they'll fix it. But I don't think they're going to let that happen. I think they've learned their lesson. That's my opinion. And of course, I'm known to be optimistic but that's what I think and that's my opinion on it and you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below what do you think are they gonna screw it up it's never gonna come out what do you think and I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, of course these screenshots and everything because uh, if you're a Final Fantasy 11 lover like I am it's pretty exciting to even know that it's possible they might reboot and release this game as long as it comes on PC and as long as it doesn't just look like a mobile game ported to PC I'll play it I'll let you know how it is and I'll be very very, very, very hard on it, to be honest. I, well, that sounds bad, doesn't it? I will be determined in my review of it that it actually keeps the spirit of Final Fantasy XI alive. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this particular subject. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click, please click that subscribe button right now. And thank you very much to the members of Napalm for keeping the lights on and keeping me in business. If you are a super fan of the Nathan Napalm and you would like to help support this channel, please click the join button down below for more information. And of course, until next time, guys, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe, I can't even describe, being part of my tribe, I'll even offer you a fry, but just please just subscribe, and hit the bell notification too.